How does a worm survive in the desert? Oh man, he is a worm! Because, I mean, just look at him. He's in the desert where there's like... Not that much moisture out here. Welcome back, by the way. We took a pit stop here because... We're getting that Chuck spell. Quizmo. We got that spell reapplied to ourselves, and Chuck Quizmo decided to show up here, so we thought, hey, let's talk, let's talk to Chuck. Um, the Goomba King, blue and white, pretty sure. No, I think it was red and white. Maybe it was. I think it was blue and white, but it could have been red and white. Yeah! Red and white! Me am the smart dur. And you see Bo off on the side just going like, yeah, I know I'm right. She'd probably smack him to get the thing from him. I got it wrong. What? No! Come here. Blunk. Oh, well, how did... So now that that's done, now we're going back into the place. Also, real quick, while we transition, I found a star piece up on the rooftops here, leading up to Mouse Tafa, so, you know, grab that with the... You can only grab it with the ground pound, with the panel thing, so... Star piece! Oh, back we go to the toy box! <laughs> and then we were back at the green station. I wonder what it's at the green station. <gasps> a wire fence? Well, you know, we do have like a steel mallet. I'm pretty sure we can take it out. Maybe possibly. Are we perhaps. not gonna do the little uh, quiz there? Not quiz, puzzle thing? No, we need the book to get the cup puzzle. Okay. Hmm. Uh, conveyor belts. Ah, I don't appear to be able to walk on this. I want the coins. Delicious, delicious coins. Yeah, you can Oh, no! Oh. <laughs> Getting meshed through it. That was very graphic for Mario. Because that works. That's... <laughs> Oh, oh, yeah, now. Yeah, now you activate. I was just gonna make a joke about activating on our star points, then automatically just went away already. Now we get the mystery note. You can't read this. Show it to someone who is very smart. We're not smart enough to be able to read this. Oh, crap. That is, that is weird. Kind of a little slow down there, too. <gasps> Slot machine. Um... Boing, boing, boing. Does it really matter what we do here? Not really. This is just kind of for fun. And we got a coin! I don't know what in the world the stars do on here. It feels like it's just... Oh no, shy guys. What? what? Yeah, no, I'm just gonna keep on. Ah. Oh my goodness. This one. This is quote unquote kind of fun. More annoying than fun, but... I'm reminded of this one room in this one level in Doom. Because there was this one room that had all these different little squares that all rose and lowered, and it was really awkward to get around that room. It wasn't, like, challenging, because it was all there. It was just... There's got to be... The morning after? What exactly are we doing in here? Paracarry. I just wanted to get that star piece. Okay, so, oh, you have to paracarry across the top of them? Yep. I'm curious how that star piece was really supposed to be hidden, because I would have assumed to just run along the bottom. Yeah. Come on, Mario. You're supposed to be the jumper. Well, Luigi's supposed to be the jumper, but history says otherwise. Well, Mario's still supposed to be the jumper, just not the jumper jumper. I like Bo, she's useful here. Oh god, another super soda. Ah. Just accidentally walk off the edge. She's gonna get all fizzy and bother my stomach. You got the dictionary, the Scholar Rusty's dictionary. Return it to him. Well, I guess we gotta go back to Rusty. So now we're deep into the toy box, and we have to go all the way to the entrance of Toad Town. Do you get why I hate this chapter yet? Because I really kind of fucking hate this chapter for many reasons. 
Real quick, hey, we're gonna stop by Kate. Why does she have a sad look on her face? I think that I think she just looks old. Probably. We're gonna give her the cookbook that lets her make, you know, two items out of something. And I, I make, find make this... an item out of two things. So you know, her repertoire, her cooking, and blah 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 increases. I find it very I find it very weird. Which how many items do we have? Ten. Yeah, let's go make one. So we have nine. I find let's it. Let's go use the super shroom. And we're going to combine it with a maple syrup. Now, this adds a lot more depth to this, and I actually kind of like this, but. Yeah, I like it when it adds a little more depth to it. It's like cooking one thing's fine, but multiple things kind of adds the scope up a little bit. Like adding one thing, there's no depth to that at all. It's just you give her now something. And we get the maple sur uh, super that lets us recover 10 HP and 10 FP all at once. Like with one item, it's just you give it to her and she gives you something better. And what's the point? We have an extra maple syrup, so I'm going to go get another super shroom and probably do this again in, in a bit. Off screen. Yeah, I love it so much. By the way, I was looking through our items, and I realized we have a letter for Merlon. I might as well give it to him while we're here. Hey, uh, back to the one I was trying to say a while back. I think it's very weird that with taste tea, that... I, see, is... I find it really funny that you're trying so hard not to do the tea thing. Well, it's, I had to make a point, because otherwise I'm just calling her Tasty, and that's weird. Because that's not her name. Yeah. But I don't want to just call her Tace, because... It's just weird. Yo, anyway. Yo, dog. Your point. Um, I find it very weird that someone as skilled a cook as she is, someone that's just this absolutely fantastic chef... Wow, ten star I, piece. I find it weird that you could give her any random cookbook and she would instantly be like an infinitely better cook than she was before. Like I can understand maybe flipping through it and seeing maybe something that you didn't know before, but just a random cookbook. Fantastic, a chef. Here's a random cookbook. I am so much better now. Well, yeah, that's, uh, that's what happened. Kind of the point of the Mario game. Okay, anyway, we're out here for, um, giving a guy a thing. Well, now we're getting a star piece because I hear I heard it being a ding Okay, I guess we're doing that, too. That was easy. <laughs> Quite easy. And I heard yeah. the jingle jangle. We're going back to Rusty here. Because we need to give him this dictionary that he lost. Which is weird that he'd only have one. Let's give him the mystery note first. I'm losing IQ points. The language of the shy guys. It says shy shy. Shy shy shy. Shy shy shy. So that's why you need to bring the dictionary back, because it'll translate the note for you. The shy guys are related to Pokemon now. Because apparently a dictionary will somehow help him translate. Whatever. <laughs> Must be a pretty good. Dictionary. Yeah, that must be a darn good dictionary or something. Hit yellow, green, red, and then blue. Remember. Yellow, green, red, blue. Yep. Yerga red, blue. And now back in we go. To, to. Yeah, that's what I'm feeling about now. Yellow, green, red, blue. Yellow, green, red, blue. So green, red, yellow, blue? Yes. Yellow. Green. Red. Blue. Were you actually trusting my memory on that one? I kind of went with it myself because you kind of went... You kind of did that whole... Keep chanting it to myself. Keep chanting it to myself. I was just gonna say, like, please don't say you were actually using my memory on that one because my memory is notoriously incorrect. You... Are we actually done at this station? Yes, that's it. What was there the was, one? There was Oh, the no left, left one was the fat guy. No, there was no left. Oh, okay, well, never mind then. There was only the right. There was only Zool. Oh. Forgot to press oh, the yeah, the tell where we're going. Um, well, red station, because that's where we're heading. If we go to the any other stations, we're going backwards. I want to go... 
I want to go with you, Mario. You were kind of freaking out there. I want to go to the. I want to go to the gray station. Yay! Well, nearly a full loop. We'll go to the orange station. There's and as always, here. there's one of them here, too. There's also a heart block here. Which kind of freaks me out, because, you know, that means something's up ahead. Oh, man, just to say to everybody, no, we're not getting all of the star pieces. We've actually... Most of them are from Chuck Quizmo, so... Yeah, we're not shooting to get all of them. In fact, we almost don't need many more now. He's really all the thing we're doing now is talking to the kid to get more badges, and not really any more badges that we're super duper after. Hmm. There's a crack in that wall. I'm perplexed we'll as I'm perplexed as to how to approach the situation. I think we'll come back to that because that should lead to something. Considering the guy just said that it leads to a card that they had. So, you know something's like... And floating fire. Oh, He's not on fire anymore. You can hear the gears grinding in that thing. Oil your machine! Oh, I thought it was interesting that when you came here, it had a uh, different background image in the actual fight. You saw these little platforms moving around in the background. Hmm. Come walk. Some of them, no, sort of crap. Dang it. They weren't even the full 3D thing moving around in the background, though. They were like a 2D. Her. Not even that one. They were like this 2D paper picture of the fight. Oh man, we're like 11 away from a level, and I know what's gonna happen next, and I really wanna get that level beforehand. Well, we can go back to another area and fight somebody else. Deep focus. Deep focus. No, it just reminds me of, like deep hurting. That's kind of yeah. That's kind of what I was getting at. Eh, let's just keep going. Wee hee hee. It's kind of dark. Ah. Ah. He, he seems like he's from like Yoshi's Island. Yeah, I'm. Uh, there were ghost-looking dudes like that in Yoshi's Island. I think they were still a version of Shy Guys. Wah! Mini boss. Bows. Wee hee hee. Man, the, all the guys in this game have like One Piece laughs. Okay, I don't know if we've gotten one like that yet. No, no, no. But... Caesar clown. Well, I mean in this game. Oh, yeah, no. <laughs> like One Piece. One Piece has got some laughs. In it, let me tell you. It's dark. And you can't actually target the guy, you have to target the lantern. This is why you need bow, because you smack the crap out of it. And it lights up the whole area. And is you it like see the guy. Is it like number of attacks that increase how bright it is? <sighs> Big lantern ghost. That's creative name. Yes, it's it's actually I like how I missed that. Whoa! I, is this the whole fight? Does he, like, never attack if you just keep making a light? No, I think he does attack. It's just that he kind of prioritizes putting the light out after so long. Yeah, he's... Oh! Like, oh no, the light! That's always annoying, despite the fact that I got a pretty lucky on that. That thing. face, man. That's annoying because it, oh, it hits Mario and the partner. Hmm. And if the partner gets taken out, he kind of gets unlimited. I was kind of surprised with, to see that, to be honest. That it actually. You can the do this, but it only lights up so much. 